Good morning class, how have you been? I hope you guys are doing well. So we are continuing with the uh, discussion of various genres uh, of writing in the print media and we are moving on to the most significant uh, aspect of uh, media writing which is news stories. News stories. So what are news stories? Uh, we uh, just imagine a newspaper which comes to your home every day and uh, imagine some uh, significant news stories that you encounter uh, regularly and what are their nature so what actually qualifies as a news story what is the difference between an article and a news story so most of the time news stories tell us about the things that are happening around us right so if you can categorize uh, some news stories that you uh, see on an everyday scale what actually uh, do uh, make it uh, to the front page of a newspaper think about that significant political events uh, significant uh, uh, you know, uh, natural events or uh, maybe something which is of some kind of relevance to the society uh, that these things make it to uh, news stories. So what is the difference between the way of writing of a news story and way of writing of an article? So most of the time uh, news stories are fact oriented. Uh, they uh, tell you what happened rather than passing judgments on them or uh, you know, uh, determining the kind of uh, you know, uh, values of those. Rather than that, it's just the fact that they're given. It's not judged or opinions are not given uh, about uh, news stories. So we'll continue our discussion uh, about uh, uh, news stories. Uh, so the term news is a complex one and therefore cannot be given a narrow definition uh, as such. I have seen some teachers, uh, you know, uh, north, east, west, uh, south, uh, that kind of a uh, you know, expansion being given to news, but that's uh, like everything around us does not make it to news. Significant events, which might be of uh, significance to a larger public, makes it as a news story into significant newspapers. So, uh, what actually qualifies as uh, you know good news or uh, newsworthy things? What what things qualify as newsworthy things? Here are some pointers which would help you identify newsworthy things. First of all, relevance. Relevance. The first pointer towards newsworthiness would be relevance. That is, uh, what is relevant to the larger public? That is, imagine that, uh, you know, in a very small town of India, something small happens. Would that be of relevance to the national public? In a national daily, would that make it to the front page of a national daily? No, right. So, relevance matters. Or imagine that, uh, you know, uh, somebody uh, does something very uh, trivial and uh, would that make it to the front page of a, a daily? Or even imagine that something, uh, you know, the elections uh, of the smaller, you know, uh, uh, what to say, uh, sections of the, uh, you know, uh, representations of the US. Uh, we probably see the news about the president elections and all, but the smaller elections, would we get the news about those? No, right? So, uh, what is of relevance according to the geographical area, according to the population, uh, according to the nature of the population? So, relevance is determined on the basis of that. So, first point is relevance. And then timeliness, something that happened in the 1960s would not make it to uh, contemporary news, but rather something that has uh, happened very recently, uh, something which, which is quite fresh or something uh, ab about the knowledge of which would actually affect your everyday life might make it to newspaper reports or uh, news stories. So again, timeliness and uh, importance, impact or consequence, importance, impact or consequence. The elections, uh, for, uh, for instance, their, their impact is going to be massive. That is, it will affect the lives of millions of people in the country. Or imagine that uh, uh, probably a child uh, fine, uh, you know, does something, you know, uh, out of the way, which is like something that uh, usually children do not do, but that may not impact a larger public as such. It might be something of uh, that it might evoke curiosity, but it the impact of it is on a very small uh, community of people. So, impact or uh, that that is. Uh, imagine that a cyclone hits, it impacts a huge uh, population or uh, imagine that uh, a, a rule is passed which impacts uh, a significant share of the population, then it might be uh, of much importance or consequence and prominence. Uh, you must have seen everything that a celebrity does comes into the news. Often we might have seen in fake news that uh, you know some celebrity's name would be there, some uh, very insignificant information would be there, but because that celebrity has done it, it becomes a, uh, it makes it into the news. So uh, prominent politicians, uh, celebrities, film actors, or you know people like that, uh, it's very easy for them to grab attention, so they make it into news most of the time. And predictability. Predictability in the 
the sense uh, there are predict uh, you know things about which predictions matter for uh, for example election results maybe so predictability in that uh, respect also unpredictability or unexpectedness uh, for example something surprising happens uh, for uh, natural calamities maybe or accidents or crimes uh, you know something shocking so unpredictability and predictability both make it into news and continuity there are news uh, reports which might have to be covered continuously uh, for example imagine that a war is happening somewhere so it is an ongoing process so uh, or imagine that a test se cricket series is happening so these are ongoing things about which you might need continuous input so these also make it into the news and uh, then human interest stories human interest stories so uh, imagine that uh, you know uh, there, there, there are things which actually are interesting to uh, human beings. Uh, sometimes, uh, sometimes things that appeal to the emotion uh, or you know, uh, of softer human interest. So that is, uh, somebody has done something very positive, or some, uh, you know, somebody has done something of very benevolent and kind nature. Uh, these things are actually very soothing to us, and we might uh, find it very interesting to us. So, things of human interest. And uh, reporters and uh, uh, you know, editors say that negativity is more imp uh, you know interesting to people rather than positivity. So, uh, crimes or uh, you know, negative news in that aspect actually grabs more attention and the unusual that is uh, you know uh, uh, imagine that uh, a dog is friends with a cat and uh, they are uh, uh, something like unusual which is uh, out of the ordinary uh, you know uh, far from the ordinary these kinds of things also uh, make something newsworthy these are just some pointers towards uh, things that qualify to be newsworthy uh, to be covered as a news report or make it to a newspaper as such so uh, keep these points in mind and uh, then uh, we are about to learn the structure of a new story and all which we will uh, see in the coming classes. Thank you very much guys.